Starfleet Academy it's been is it ordered or reordered so I <laughs> <laughs> I you just want to see op- if I can push Yoda over the edge, just to you're, see if we can get a live suicide. Up a, you're opening up a can of fucking worms here, and I'm going to have to start talking some more. Uh, okay. So, Paramount was not, from what I understand, and from everything I've been able to gather, Paramount was not happy with Kurtzman and, and Bad Robot and all that. And apparently the number of series that they were supposed to have, if you consider seasons as part of that contract, season three and Strange New uh, Strange New Worlds took uh, Kurtzman's baby, which is Starfleet Academy. This is something that he wants okay. to do. He loves um, Starfleet Academy for some reason, because we want to... To me, it's like when they do those shows, like superheroes in high school or you know dracula frankenstein t and and the wolfman and the mummy but when they were in high school you know i i don't i don't care about that kind of stuff i think it's just a terrible idea i don't know why they keep going to that well but that's what he wants to do with starfleet academy (laughs) now i'm not saying that he's doing it with kirk or any of that or 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 that kind of known characters it's going to be like new characters i guess or they're reopening starfleet academy or something i don't know but that's his baby nobody's going to want to watch it but But i thought everybody loved him (laughs) well (laughs) <laughs> so so now you're getting into suit <laughs> mentality here, right? Now you're getting into the idiots in 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 the corporate structures. Like, oh, people like Picard season three. They must like Kurtzman stuff. And that's as far as their brains think, I think. So they go, okay, so we're going to go ahead and give him Starfleet Academy. So on the back of what Terry Metalis is doing, who was given this turd and said, just do something with it because we don't care anymore. It's the last season. He ends up making a great show. And because of that, the suits go, oh, I guess it's successful now. I'll let Kurtzman do a new show. And well, Kurtzman's going to create the, the shit. Show, the show, the show is, um, is, is working on season three, and Kurtzman sort of goes... Working, you say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like the reverse Homer out of the bushes. Hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so he's, yeah, he's basically in my mind taking credit for this shit. And he's going to put out a shit show that's going to be woke as hell, especially if it's young kids in Starfleet Academy expressing their sexuality or some nonsense. And it's. <sighs> I, I mean, <laughs> expressing their feelings and everything yeah, instead of it, you know dealing with the Klingons and whatnot. Yeah, it, or or their fucking studies. So it's going to be Paramount getting the entirely wrong message from season three. Season three is going to be an outlier. This we talked about this. I said, will season three be an outlier or will it be a course correction? It's going to be an outlier because they're not getting rid of Kurtzman. They're letting him do more shit. So, guys, enjoy season three while you can, because this is the only good new track you are ever going to get. For a while. For a while. It, it might turn itself around the same with Star, Star Wars. I live in hope that one day something actually decent from Star Wars may come out. But in the meantime, that's it. Right, we've just had some um, comments. Um, somebody just said that. Don't forget, um, Squiddy wants to read the comments. Yeah, I've been going through the discuss comments, and he's not even said anything. So... Nuts to him. Uh, um, Has anybody said anything? No. What is discussed? It's on the website, Heidi. If you went to the website and read the website every day as we put up new articles, you'd understand that the discuss is so that everybody can discuss, um, you know, about the movies. My, my, my favourite thing is that discuss. She, she, excuse me. She, she spelled it dick, dick sus, which is, I think, something very different. Oh, yeah. That's even worse than my <laughs> spelling. Um, no, my, my favourite, though, is there was somebody recently, we had a video come through of somebody who was reading an article from our website, and that was his YouTube content, right? And yet he kept referring to it as discus. <laughs> and he kept saying, well, they use discus, so you're not going to get me on there or anything else. And I kept thinking, why would you think it's discus? Well, as opposed to discuss, so that you can discuss things. Why would you call it discus? 
that was the level of that man. I don't. Comedy. I couldn't understand why he thought that was a bad thing. I mean, it's just a comment engine to run into your articles. That's all it does. No, it's not like it fuels, a, it's not like Facebook. It fuels the, well, you, the Ukraine war. Everybody knows that. Ah uh, well. Um, but yeah, that was yeah that was that was quite funny. Um, yes. But yeah, so, so coming with Starfleet. So basically, you're not you're not impressed with this Starfleet Academy has now been ordered. No, because it's going to be it's it's Kurtzman's baby, and Kurtzman has done nothing but shit. Everything he has run, Discovery, the three Star Trek movies, even Strange New Worlds. I mean, he's he's not as involved with it, but I mean, it's kind of cut from the same cloth. It's all shit. And Picard season one and two were total shit. So, I mean, why would this be any different? This guy has been a hack forever. I don't know how he gets work. I've got to ask this. Is he at all married or related to Kathleen Kennedy? (laughs) (laughs) They're all grown grown from the same lab. Yeah, I was going to say, they they sound like they would get on very, very, very very much. Um, Okay, then, so we're not going to look forward to... I mean, like I say, I've given up. I think I watched the first episode of Picard, and that's kind of the only new track I've watched. Everything else I've just ignored, because I just... I gave up on Discovery halfway through season two. I barely got through season one. This is before I realized how much they hate us. And now that I know that they hate us, so there you go. Thank you for watching this excerpt from Outpost Frequencies. Tune in live every Sunday at noon Central Time or 6 o'clock UK time. And also, remember to come to lastmovieoutpost.com for all your latest in movie news, streaming news, and everything cool about film. We are the cool news now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next stream.